advised Kilo 33 and Kilo 34, your current LZ is too hot. Roger that. Dot, stand by to receive and respond. Yes, Commander. Coordinates received. Initiate immediate course correction. The Office of Naval Intelligence Sword Base is presently under siege from a Corvette class Covenant vessel. Due to the sensitive nature of this facility, use of orbital rounds has been, for the moment, prohibited. Regrettably, my efforts to obtain relevant data on enemy forces have been unsuccessful. However, current defensive forces are insufficient. Oni has requested Team Noble's direct intervention to help secure Sword Base. Alright, people. We're stuck with that ship for the time being. Let's focus on the hostile infantry. Give those troopers a hand. Cat 6, you're out here. George Emil, you're next. Get prep. Let's move, Lieutenant. Alright you guys, this is uh, Engine Guides, RVB here, and today we're playing Halo Reach. Uh, the first mission, my mic was kind of screwed up, so I didn't do any commentary, but now that it is working again, I'm going to do a commentary, and like usual, not talk during the cutscenes, because uh, that's a crucial part of the story, and a lot of my viewers would like that, so. Um, second mission, only something uh, I forget what it's called but this is a, starts out pretty easy you get an assault rifle and I guess what is the new battle rifle I'm not quite sure what that's called just yet um, you will have some covenant drop ships <laughs> drop ships it's kinda sound like I said drop ships there um, drop ships that will drop off some of the elites and grunts here um, the, those elites that are white, those are a pain in the ass to deal with, so you're going to want to take th care of them from far range, like I am. Uh, they have that one weapon, kind of like the brute shot, that uh, shoots out those energy shots, and those are very deadly, so you want to watch out for those. Um, so just continue on as normal. I suggest a far away approach, as in most of this game. Uh, you're going to want to take that approach. Uh, here I go up a little bit, get my ass kicked, and then run back. Well, I haven't gotten my ass kicked yet, but I will. Um, also, just wanted to talk about this game, so while we're waiting for me to advance, might as well talk about it. Um, this is a great story so far. I haven't completed the whole thing just yet, but I'm loving it. Um, reminds me of the good old days of Halo 3 and Halo 2 and 1. Halo Wars wasn't my cup of tea, but what the hell. I still played it, and it was, it was kind of fun. Um, I've been a little bit disappointed by how this game plays in terms of um, smoothness. Later on, like at the end of this level, it gets pretty choppy. Uh, so much shit's happening on the screen that drops the frame rate rate from I'm guessing plays at around 30 frames per second uh, probably to like 20 or 17 so I mean you know that was kinda disappointing <laughs> right here I never noticed that so decided to give it a try uh, you can drive that thing not really any use but just kinda there um, the graphics in this game look astounding uh, Kind of like mm, I, I'd say Call of Duty's graphics might be a bit better, but th this really is the best I've seen in the Halo franchise so far. Um, everything looks great from the textures to the models. Everything's really in depth. Uh, sounds great, plays great. Um, it's hard getting used to the new uh, control scheme. It's back to X for reloading, and like to melee instead of B it is the right bumper then it's got the power ups which are very helpful um, you can finally sprint now that's one of the power ups um, you can't sprint unlimited but so it's got a little recharge time but um, helps you get around faster and to use those you press the left bumper 
And um, I'm playing this back in theater mode so you can't see it, but this is actually the first time um, I've done this. I got an achievement while playing for getting a 2-in-1 with this rocket thing. Uh, this rocket designator, I guess you could call it. Um, and I didn't even notice until I came over here that I got both of them in one shot. So, kind of regretting that I left my one-shot battle rifle behind. I still don't know what it's called, but um, because I could have taken them, these guys out from a farther range, but, you know, whatever. It's not that hard. Um, I died twice while filming this mission, so I cut those out, so if there's any, like, kind of weird off-sync thing, then that's just me editing out my death and going back to the checkpoint. I tried to do this as best I can, but you know how it is. Now we're waiting for Cat, who is not a very good teammate. She's kind of a pain in the ass. Doesn't help out very much. Kind of stands there while you do all the dirty work. And, like, the theater mode, if you press any buttons while you're in a vehicle, then it'll get all screwed up. Um, and if you get screwed up, then you need to go go into ch the free cam, and then go back into the spectate cam. And then when you get out, you'll be in third person, so you'll need to press the right thumbstick to get everything back. So that happens, I think, twice in this video. I'm sorry for that tried my best to avoid that, but I bumped the controller a couple times. So, um, I recommend getting or hijacking this tank thing because it really helps clear out this area here. Um, for some reason, it's usually a one-shot kill on you, if not two, but for the elites and grunts and all the covenant, it's I think more than two. So, splatter still works, and it has a booster, but it's kind of annoying. So, um, I activated that first thing there, and um, I thought there was a bridge connecting this, but once again I was wrong. So, going back to my vehicle, and going over here. Um, I'm also really blessed to be playing this game. Uh, I was over at a friend's house. He got an early copy. Uh, didn't tell me how, but he did. So he let me use my capture card and record. So I'm bringing this to you pretty early. About probably a day before this uh, comes out. I'll be uploading all this. Oh, by the way, um, if you're liking this, these videos, please do subscribe. It helps a lot. Um, also, you might notice that my voice is a little bit off sync to the video. I'm going to try and fix that, so if you don't notice that, then just ignore what I just said. But Pinnacle Studio is not um, recognizing my headset, so I am watching this video while recording in Audacity, which is a kind of wonky setup there. And then Cat is driving, so she doesn't really do anything, so I'll just kind of go into a circle for a minute. So, be patient here. <laughs> 